you know, <clears throat> here is a wind row of the millet I knocked down. It's still pretty green. It's probably going to get rained on, but this is going to be more of a filler hay for us anyways. We got plenty of good alfalfa and clover for the cows this winter, so this a little bit, a little bit wet. If it gets rained on, it'll still be all right. This is just kind of a filler hay. Keep their stomachs full. I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out, like, stem-wise. It's not real stemmies. Not too bad at all. Didn't head out, which partially was because I put it on so heavily and partially because of the nitrogen. You can see right here where it's a little shorter, lighter, and greener. I believe it was pretty nitrogen deficient. When you go as closer where I am, closer to where I put down a good amount of anhydrous this spring, and then you start getting these full heads that are heading out, which this I'm actually probably gonna pick some of it and have it for like house bird feeders. Um, I know a few people that are interested in having some for the birds and I might, I'm gonna put some winter rye out here in most of this field. I might leave just a little bit of this though for pheasants and whatnot. Even just a couple foot strip this wide give a lot of the birds something to eat and a nice place for me to come hunt. We're actually starting to get a good amount of pheasants back on the farm. So I haven't went pheasant hunting much in years. Really love the opportunity, but yeah, you can see see the color difference and the height difference. This is about no oh, right here. This one's about three foot tall. And then you come up to these taller ones, and that's just over my head, and I'm six foot tall. So um, there's a big difference where it was heavily fertilized or not. I did fertilize this, <clears throat> but I fertilized it with the same dry fertilizer I was putting on my hay. So it got somewhere around 50 pounds of nitrogen. But there were still winter wheat seedlings in that. It was only a few inches high when I come through, and seeded that down so I think most of the available nitrogen was uh, consumed by that winter wheat and by the time I put this in there just wasn't a whole lot left so would have probably been able to get two cuttings if that was that way but I don't know if I'm gonna yet or not it's second of September so it kind of depends on what the weather's like and it frosts or not but this might be a one and done for us this year but it's something I wanted to try and it's something I'm certainly learned a lot about. And next time if I put it down, make sure to put down some adequate nitrogen. Because this one over here where it's uh, getting some of the anhydrous where I got from the corn, that one's close to seven foot tall. There's a big difference. Most of it's three foot tall. So maybe a little slighter seeding than that. And definitely some nitrogen.